we were we facing and how to overcome all these things like I explained in the previous session and of course followed by our professor how to demonstrate how to demonstrate uh, all the basic concepts of uh, chemistry uh, chemistry and then Bhaskar uh, said again uh, so in his uh, way why you are choosing the IIT foundation what is the importance also that uh, DVD is of course uh, already uh, give the impact of the uh, uh, importance of the IIT because uh, IIT is the main uh, objective you see in IIT uh, Chennai I think so so in IIT Chennai uh, the most of the IIT, in, uh, in IIT people, IIT students are general IIT students are called as uh, uh, American Indian American Indian, American Indian students see uh, how they are, uh, um, they are honoring our IIT students so American Indians means how they are uh, uh, honoring means so that is a craze and passion about the IIT. And even uh, I will give a small example. Uh, Nerella Venimado is one of the guy who studied at our institute. So proudly I am announcing that name because Nerella Venimado he is the third ranker in IIT and he is a student of Hyderabad Public School. And um, I, I moved my that child to all my institutions. Uh, so this is a Nerella Venimado, like like a precious uh, uh, instrument, like I will show. The reason is. He got the first rank in uh, in uh, Tennis Olympiad. He is the first rank in Ma International Mathematics Olympiad. He is the first rank in uh, International Maths Olympiad, and he is the topmost scorer in, uh, in the uh, AP history of CBSC uh, results. He got 99.8 some percent percentage in the uh, board examination. Who completed uh, uh, IIT with a uh, spaceship? So such a uh, great student here. So he is our, one of our product. One of our product means uh, the reason is, so like what sir said, so we feel okay, so I am reaching, I am reaching, of course my teaching is reaching some extent. If you get a good student, you get a good student. So how, when we are going to get a good student means we are searching, every time we are encouraging the children, so we just will promote the children, you are good. So if you motivate those uh, students, generally you can pick out the diamonds from those uh, and we can uh, incorporate in uh, towards the uh, Okay. So previous time explaining the concepts. If you use the technology, if you use the technology, it is more helpful, especially in physics and uh, mathematics, because some concepts is very difficult to explain uh, orally or by drawing uh, or the same one on uh, on board because it is two dimension. So it is very difficult to explain the same concept which is understandable in the three dimensions. So we can't show the, see the other dimension. So by using the technology, by flash layer all these things, so we can explain it. So just I am taking one or two. So the first one, so you know you know that uh, the concept of uh, uh, four points of concurrence. Four points of concurrence, centroid, in center, and circumcenter. Just we can explain those things by using the folding technique. See, at the demonstration Demonstrating four centers of a triangle using paper folding technique. For a triangle, there are four centers, namely centroid, in-center, circumcenter, and orthocenter. Let us now perform paper folding activity for showing the centroid of a triangle. Take a sheet of paper. Draw on it three triangles, one acute angle, one right angle and one obtuse angle triangle. Cut out the three triangles from the paper. Name each of these triangles as triangle ABC. We now take the acute angle triangle ABC. We fold the side BC of the triangle so that C falls on B to get the midpoint of BC. Unfold the triangle. Let the midpoint of side BC be D. Get the median AD of the triangle ABC drawn from the vertex A to 
the side BC. We repeat the above activity to get other two medians BE and CF of the triangle ABC. The three medians AD, BE and CF meet at a point G called the centroid of the triangle. Observe that the centroid lies in the interior of the triangle ABC. We now repeat the both activity for the second triangle, that is the right angle triangle. Observe that in this case too, the centroid lies in the interior of the triangle ABC. We now repeat the whole activity for the third triangle, that is, obtuse angle triangle. <coughs> Observe that in this case too, the centroid lies in the interior of triangle ABC. Thus, the centroid of a triangle always lies in the interior of the triangle. Let us now perform paper folding activity for showing the in center of a triangle. We now take the acute angle triangle ABC. We fold the side AB of the triangle in such a way that it falls on the side AC. Press the paper to get a crease. Unfold the triangle. The crease gives the angle bisector AX of angle A. We repeat the above activity to get other two angle bisectors BY and CZ of the triangle ABC. The three angle bisectors AX, BY and CZ meet at a point I called the in-center of the triangle. Observe that the in-center lies in the interior of the triangle ABC. We now repeat the whole activity for the second triangle that is the right angle triangle. We now repeat the whole activity for the third triangle, that is, the obtuse angle triangle. Observe that in this case too, the in-center lies in the interior of the triangle ABC. Thus, the in-center of a triangle always lies in the interior of the triangle. The centroid and in center always lie in the interior of the triangle in all kinds of triangles. The orthocenter and circumcenter lie in the interior of the triangle only in case of an acute angle triangle. They do not lie in the interior in case of right angle and obtuse angle triangles. Take one more acute angle triangle, name it as triangle ABC. We fold the side BC of the triangle by bringing the point C towards the point B till the fold passes through the point A, thus crease is formed. Unfold the triangle. The crease thus obtained gives an altitude AX of the triangle ABC. We repeat the above activity to get other two altitudes BY and CZ of triangle ABC. The three altitudes meet at a point, name it as point H call the orthocenter of the triangle. In a right angle triangle, orthocenter lies on the vertex with an angle of 90 degrees. Whereas in an obtuse angle triangle, orthocenter lies in the exterior or outside of the triangle. Take one more acute angle triangle. Name it as triangle ABC. We fold the side BC of the triangle in such a way that B falls on C, thus crease is formed. Unfold the triangle. The crease thus obtained gives the perpendicular bisector BX of the side BC in the triangle ABC. 
We repeat the above activity to get other two perpendicular bisectors EY and FZ of the sides CA and AB respectively in the triangle ABC. The three perpendicular bisectors meet at a point, name it as point I, called the circumcenter of the triangle. In a right angle triangle, circumcenter lies on the hypotenuse axis of I and H. Whereas in an obtuse angle triangle, circumcenter lies in the exterior or outside of the triangle. Now it is your turn. Look at the triangle. Where does its centroid lie? Good. <laughs> Look at the triangle. Where does its circumcenter lie? Good. Look at the triangle. Where does its incentive lie?